question is, how do you make dumber than dirt? Homo sapiens believe that maiming 110 out of 111 human beings is a community service. A religion, if you will. It's actually very easy and it has been done before. It was done by the Romans two millennia ago. And what you do is you create ritualistic bloodletting and make it a community religious experience. You put helmets on the participants so they don't really look like human beings and you maim them and kill them in front of large audiences, preferably about 100,000 people, which was the size of the Colosseum in Rome, which at the time was the most beautiful building on the face of the earth. It is clear what happens when you expose human beings over and over and over again to violence. The Bible warns about this. The Bible warns you to never watch and never ever even listen to violence. Why? It turns you into an animal. And the continual watching of the gladiatorial bouts, which in one of the years near the end of Rome was 250 times in one year in Rome, watching it over and over and over again, turned the Romans into fat, psychopathic animals. And oddly enough, this is happening today. Today there are about 84 million fanatical NFL fans here in La La Land. They are known as cheeseheads, bronco maniacs, and some of them dress up in Darth Vader outfits and call themselves the Raider Nation. The tragedy of NFL football, which is partially reflected in the July 25th New York Times story, which had as a headline that 110 out of 111 football players have brain damage. Part of the tragedy is what has happened to the NFL football players. That is part of it. But it's not the main part of it, in my opinion. The main part of the tragedy of NFL football, of football here in the US is what has happened to those 84 million fanatical fans. The ones that I have met, and not all of them, but I believe that this continual watching of the violence over and over and over. <sighs> has changed their DNA. They are no longer caring human beings. They are psychopathic. For those of you who have not Google psychopath, please do, and you will find out it is someone who looks like a human being, but he's not. He does not have a conscience, he does not have a soul, and he has absolutely no sense of guilt or remorse. And I believe this is what has happened to the American people. They have lost their souls. Jesus said it best, 
What good does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? The tragedy of it is that once you lose your soul, you can't ever get it back. And the same people that here in the United States watched the United States invade Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and they now want to invade Iran, North Korea, and Russia. These people laughed when Hillary Clinton appeared on a talk TV show a few years ago and joked about the murder of Gaddafi. She said, we came, we saw, he died. <laughs> and laughed. The same people that ignored and supported our invasion of these countries and who laughed at Hillary Clinton. These are the same people that reacted with a yawn and a who cares attitude to this recent report of the maiming of 110 out of 111 football players. But folks, you cheeseheads, you Bronco maniacs, you Raider Nation people. The joke's on you. You mom and dads, the joke's on you. Because two days ago, Dr. Amalu, the discoverer of CTE, and he was the doctor that was featured on the movie recently called Concussion, uh, when he discovered CTE in my former teammate, Mike Webster, he has recently come out and stated very clearly, very firmly, that football is child abuse. And mom and dad, guess what's going to happen? He recommended in this interview that prosecutors throughout the U.S need to start charging parents of not just grade school football players, but high school football players with child abuse. So, mom and dad, I just want to give you some advice. When you sign that medical release authorization form this football season for your grade schoolers, and your high school football players, make sure you put on the top Prosecution's Exhibit A. Mom and Dad, I don't want you to be charged with child abuse. You love your sons. I know you do. But you need to listen to Dr. Amalu. You need to read his article. And I want to make it clear to you, in this recent study that came out, just July 25th, that those 110 out of 111, some of them were high school football players that died of CTE. Some of them were actually grade school players that died of CTE. They were just NFL players. So. The bottom line is this. I humbly ask you, on behalf of myself, on behalf of uh, the NFL players I know, I ask you to Oh, your sons 
from Little League in high school football. Thank you.